Yo, YouTube, what is going on? First Step 321 back at you with another video. And today, I wanted to try something new, all right? Um, I was looking at the uh, top usage of UU, and I came up with this idea where I wanted to use the magnet pool ability and to try to get it to work against, uh, you know, steel types. Uh, Particularly uh, Scissor, he was actually number one. Uh, this is actually the first match where I, I, I get it to work. It is a Scissor is actually a Celeste Steel. But you know what? Actually, uh, I think I do have a match where I do get it to work. Let's see here. Um, this one. Now, granted, this strategy necessarily isn't foolproof because. Um, scissor can learn uh, superpower, and he can U-turn. So the the whole idea, kind of based off the set, is particularly to trap like choice band sets. Uh, but you know, it was just having fun, man. I had fun uh, using it, man. I think I'm keep using it. It's kind of it's kind of fun to use. I'm actually surprised that I actually won this, as you can see real soon. I was getting body, but anyway, let's get right into it. All right, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start off with my Conkelder. They're gonna start off with their lovely Como. O. Now, I always, I'm so used to this thing being like a physical attacker, and so uh, this person actually threw me off, making it a special attacker. Uh, regardless, um, you know, so I use knockoff to, uh, you know, I'm, I, I was, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, y'all. As you can see, I completely get boom burst and get body. Um, here, after watching this, I see I should have sent in Chansey um, because that is a special attack, which means this is a special attacking Como. But I sent in my Gyarados, and unfortunately, I take all that damage. I try to, you know, think I'm doing something with my Dragon Dance Gyarados here, but as you can see, there's nothing I can do. I thought I lost this game, and I thought I was pretty much GG, uh, but at this point, that's when the light came up on in my head to send out uh, Clefable. I mean, I'm sorry, Clefable. Chansey, who is a specially defensive monster, and the Evil light makes it so much better. So he's going to claim his souls in my face, and I believe at this point, I go for a Toxic. Um, I was definitely still scared, because... But, uh, you know, Chansey is just so uh, bulky. What do I need to be scared for? So, I'm going to send out Toxic and just kind of let this thing time out. And uh, I believe I'll go for Stealth Rocks here. Well, I'll go for Soft Boil. I knew I'd go for Soft Boil at some point. Because looking at his team, uh, I actually do need to keep this thing alive with the Chandelier in the back. With the Lola Nine Tails in the back and so on and so forth. So... Uh, I think at this point is when I throw out uh, Stealth Rocks. That would actually help me a lot. If anything, is Sash. Chandelier take damage and just, you know, Stealth Rocks is always a good tool to have, especially against a team who don't have a Defog or a Rapid Spinner. I know firsthand because I made that mistake. So they sent out Scissor. I thought this was the perfect opportunity to trap this thing. Uh, once again, going back, I don't know if that was the best play. Chansey is a normal type, so, you know, uh, I definitely would have got demolished. But, uh, you know, I feel like he was trapped because he didn't go for he didn't go for close combat that time. He didn't U-turn. So, I'm just thunder and Look at that damage. I love it. I love Scissor, but... Because everybody uses him, he's just so annoying. And, uh, you know, so my opponent, I guess they feel like, you know, at a plus, you know, two, uh, Bullet Punch is going to actually do some damage. But no, nah, we got an EV light on this thing as well. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get it out of here. And it's, you know what, one of the best things I can honestly say about this game is when you, uh, you know, put together a team and or a strategy and just seeing it works. Uh, it don't always work. You're not going to win every game, but I think that's one of the best parts. It's very uh, satisfying to put something together and to see it work. Uh, once again, this isn't foolproof, 
But uh, just trapping steel types, I think it's the greatest thing ever. So I knew that they thought I was going to switch. But at this point, I didn't need my uh, my uh, Magneton at this point. He did what he was supposed to do. So uh, I'm going to eat a knockoff then, eat an earthquake. And then uh, at this point, I'm going to send out my uh, Sazma Toad. Uh, I know from playing, uh, you know, Sword and Shield on it, this thing is very good. <laughs> I'm going to throw off a skull here. My opponent is going to get burned. So that's actually going to help with the residual damage. But uh, at this point, uh, I'm going to swing back Chansey as I wanted to, as like I was saying earlier, I definitely needed this thing because because uh, Chansey will actually help me deal with, will help me deal with the Nine Tails. Uh, I feel like I could do pretty good against the uh, slow bro even though he does have the the uh, side shell which um I think it attacks the lower side of the defense but it wasn't doing too much damage I was worried about uh, the chandelier I needed it even though I had no way of attacking it I could just poison it but um, yeah so I go for a seismic toss here and uh, yeah I think I was just pretty much in a good spot um, like I say, uh, actually getting that magnet pool uh, strategy to work. I actually want to, I don't know, we'll see. But like I say, this team is fun. So at this point, I just go for Sagsman toss and then just kind of just whittle away my opponent at this point. Uh, I believe they went for Zen headbutts to try to get some flinches. But, uh, you know, I was faster than this slow bro. So I don't know if they... You know, remove the speed or what was going on. Uh, they're going to switch in their crocodile. And at this point, uh, I go for a heal because, once again, I need this thing to be healthy. But I cannot stay in against uh, this thing because he will probably blow me up. So I'm going to throw in my Motrest, hopefully looking for a burn. Uh, they go for a knockoff, knockoff my heavy duty boots, which is not that big of a deal because there's no rocks on my side. Yeah, but <laughs> he does send in the late Steph Rock, so that is actually huge against Moltres, who's actually like times four. I'm um, throwing a hurricane and get a confuse. Uh, that actually helps me out a lot. Um, he went for a ton here. I guess he didn't want me to roost, so if I switched out, came back into rocks, uh, you know, I don't know if that would have killed me. I think I would have had like 20% health left. But uh, I felt like at this point, where well, I have no reason not to switch. I mean, to switch. My boots is wore off and turned it. So I was just going to spam Hurricane. They're going to throw out their Chandelier. And here they use Trick to switch items. Uh, you know, I guess I was a little confused because... Uh, you know, I was firing off hurricanes. I guess it would have been different if I was firing on a fire type move, which actually would have been really bad. Uh, well, I'm like, hey, if you want to give me choice specs, I'll just keep firing uh, <laughs> hurricanes and I'm just going to do some dim each and keep getting confuses. So that actually worked in my favor. I don't know. Maybe they thought I was going to lose the taunt last turn. I don't know. As you can see, my hurricane finally misses with this low accuracy. And uh, my opponents go for liquidation. It was actually an interesting set on this slow bro. Me personally, I like to run scold, but uh, teach his own. Uh, I throw off another hurricane. Completely miss. And yeah, they go off another liquidation and completely destroys my Motress. So uh, I believe at this point. Uh, Seismitoad is a great option because I believe everything on this team is weak to Earthquake, which my Seismitoad does carry. So the uh, Slow Bro is out of here. <laughs> um, Chandelier should die to Stealth Rocks. And then last but not least. Uh, the Alolan Ninetales, who is uh, burnt, by the way, going to take some Stealth Rock, which is going to do some damage. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much GG. So, 
like I said, the whole purpose behind this um, was just to see, like I said I, in the last video, I was going to go through some some of the top usage people and see if I could create something around it uh, and see if I could just, you know, uh, you know, have some sort of strategy or whatever like that. So um, we'll see. Uh, I might upload a few more and uh, see if there's anything else that uh, I can put together. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that it will be easier just for me to just <laughs> run a fire move than a magnet pool, especially because Scissor does have a way to deal with this. It is not foolproof. Like I said, U-Turn definitely gets him out, unfortunately. I think that'd be pretty good if he could just stay in there. And uh, Superpower will completely destroy uh, Magneton, even with the Ivia Light. So, yeah, but I thought it was fun, man. I think it's hilarious. Somebody's switching in and they can't switch out. But, uh, yeah, that's the video. Until next time, uh, first step, 3, 2, 1. Holla at your boy. Peace.